Greetings, unsettled souls. <clears throat> You know when you hear the You Are an Idiot music play for that long that it's going to be worse than normal. The dumb of the day for the massive Fukushima update. <clears throat> How about we sell some uranium on eBay? Doesn't that sound like a good idea? For those of you that don't know, uranium is one of the elements used in nuclear bombs and nuclear technology and causes cancer, weakens the heart. It, it doesn't kind of cause cancer. It 100% causes cancer. That doesn't mean if you're exposed to it that you're definitely going to get cancer. But it is one of the most carcinogenic substances known in the universe. Vice.com. Oh, this is just ridiculous. How could such stupidity exist? Neo-Nazi and KKK fanboy built pipe bombs with uranium from eBay. A French student obsessed with neo-Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan has been arrested after his class project was determined to be four pipe bombs loaded with uranium dust that he purchased on eBay. Perhaps the problem here isn't so much this Nazi idiot as it is that you can buy something like this on eBay! The 26-year-old man, who has not been identified, was arrested last week in the city of Kalmar in the northeast Haut Rhin area near the border with Germany. The arrest was first reported by Le Canard and Chan, a satirical weekly that also publishes hard news. The details of the case were confirmed by Vice World News by a police officer in Paris. I don't really trust Vice News, not a big fan. So, <clears throat> I did want to back this up by other sources. A search of the suspect's home found large amounts of neo-Nazi materials in Ku Klux Klan hood and a cloak from an illegal KKK group in Germany, just a few miles away from the site of his arrest, clearly making things illegal worse. <clears throat> the suspect was not himself on the security list, but we are checking his associations with other neo-Nazi groups in both France and Germany, said the official. He has not hidden his sympathies from investigators. There will be little problem determining if he is acting alone. This is a local case that has been referred to the local police and prosecutors, but the hazardous material team in Colmar have reported the presence of radioactive radiological materials in multiple improvised devices from the national database in Paris, said the police official who works in counterterrorism and cannot be quoted, which he was. You get the point. It's a joke. There are ample reasons <clears throat> to draw a link between the suspect who remains in custody and far-right ideologies, <clears throat> but the local authorities are responsible for the investigation into this, and they are liaised with national databases and the national security list for possible dangerous associations with the far-right. On the 26th of August, teachers called the local cops for assistance after the 26-year-old student, who reportedly has significant developmental disabilities. Pause. The whole way through this article, you thought, oh, well, there was actually a real Nazi. Do you ever notice? I've known, like, two Nazis in my life, and they both have been Nazified, if you will, while they were in prison. There's virtually no one who is a Nazi, and virtually no one who was KKK members. There were almost no white supremacists in America. And that is the truth. If you don't agree with that, that's fine. But the data proves that I'm right. You can be wrong. It's America. It's First Amendment. It's fine. But if you want the truth, I can give you the truth. There are almost none. They finally find one. <clears throat> and what do they find? A person who's a little retarded who put uranium on a glorified firecracker. But you got Vice News, of course, fishing for, uh, you know, shaking the bushes, trying to find the boogeyman or, or the, the white supremacist, then you get stories like this. The, what's more bothersome to me isn't somebody who's mildly retarded decides that he wants to be a Nazi. That doesn't surprise me at all. He's mildly retarded. But then a mildly retarded 
person can buy uranium on eBay should be a much bigger problem because there's a whole hell of a lot more idiots, thousands, millions of idiots who would do something like this than there are actual Nazis. But I'm not going to feel any better if I get poisoned from a leftist fanatic than I am if I get poisoned by a Nazi retard. I'm really not going to be very happy in either instance. I don't know about you. He announced to his class that he had successfully built four pipe bombs and loaded them with radioactive dust used in scientific experiments that he had purchased on eBay. It's a firecracker is what it is. Upon arriving at the scene that the school described as an adult vocational center, basically people that were never going to make it through college, uh, the police determined that at least three of the devices were fully functioning bombs and called for a bomb disposal team and hazardous materials crew that concluded that the bombs were also radioactive. Concluded? He just said he used uranium. How hard was it to conclude, you twit? So he began emergency cleanup procedures. I hope so. There was no reported leak of radioactive materials or danger to the community. No, I'm sure he handled them with the utmost professionality. The main concern, of course, was that the bombs appeared to work. No, the main concern, you twit, is that you can buy uranium on eBay. Now, people are going, well, you don't understand, you use them for experiments. There needs to be a little bit of monitoring. And I'm a libertarian. I think you should be able to buy heroin if you're stupid enough to do so. Yes. Yes, you should legally be able to buy uranium. However... There needs to be some kind of policing on exactly where it's going. Maybe that's just me because I don't want cancer. Thank you, friends, for listening to The Correct Views, which you can always count on getting here.